Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video we have some amazing news for the owners of Samsung Galaxy A51 and the Samsung Galaxy A71. So basically Samsung has released a software update that brings a range of leading Galaxy S20 flagship features to the A51 and the A71. In this video, we're gonna dive in and look at every new feature on the A51 and the A71 that is being inherited from the Galaxy S20. So let's dive in and look at them one by one. Now this update has already been deployed, so some people already are getting it, but as you know with Samsung, they deploy these things in installments, but sooner or later, every A51 and A71 owner will be receiving these updates. Anyway, let's dive in. All right, so I'm gonna be using a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra to demonstrate these features, but you're gonna see the exact same thing on your Galaxy A51 and A71. And of course, if you are an S20 owner or a Note 10 owner, you can watch this video and learn some new things if you did not know about it. So the first feature I wanna talk about is the brand new keyboard translate feature. So let me just launch my messages over here and let me just bring up my uh, keyboard. And what you can do now on your A51 and A71, which was only previously available on flagship smartphones, is you can use the built-in translate feature. So if you tap on this button here, what you'll see is you'll see the translate feature somewhere here, but I moved mine from here to here, okay? So it's gonna be this button here, you tap on it, and basically you can pick a source language uh, let's just say English in this case, and you can pick a target language. Let's just go for uh, French right over here. And when I uh, type something here to translate, let's say, hello, how are you? Okay, and then when I click done, it's going to translate that to French and put it in the message section. And then from there, I can send that message over uh, to whoever I want. So now you can do international translation right from the keyboard and you have access to so many languages because this is using Google Translate as its database. So it is 100% accurate and it's gonna be up to date again. Look at all the list of these languages. All right, let's move on to the next tactic. And of course we have two additions to the camera app. So let me launch the camera app, show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now first one is gonna be the brand new single take option is now available on A51 and A71. Basically, when you tap on this button, it starts to capture meaningful moments, and then it adds filters, it creates videos, and it creates nice photos out of that moment that you just captured. So when you do this, it is gonna capture 10 seconds of footage with a range of capture modes all done automatically just for you guys and you'll see what I'm talking about once you use your uh, phone to get this done. Now the other thing is when you go to more and if you go into hyperlapse mode you have the option to turn on night hyperlapse mode. So we, we could already do hyperlapse in daytime but now you can do it at night time as well with some special effects. You can try that when you get a chance. And one more thing, that's the final improvement, is if you go into the more option, and if you go into the, and if you go into the professional mode for your photos, what you can do now is you can do manual focus, which was not available. By tapping this button, you can manually focus on objects, and you can change the shutter speed of your camera. That's gonna be the pro mode functionalities that came right from the Galaxy S20, all right? So those are the three camera improvements. All right, let's talk about the next feature. So when I pull down my notifications panel, there's two options here that were brand new originally for the S20. That's the quick share and the music share option. So now you are gonna be getting these two options. So basically the quick share feature allows you to instantaneously share uh, photos and videos, even large video files using your local Wi-Fi connection between two Samsung smartphones. All you do is enable the quick share settings in both of your Samsung smartphones and then give your phone a unique name so the other phone can see it and then when you go to share a file you simply uh, choose quick share to share that file and the transfer is almost instantaneous 
even for large video files. So for example, if I was in a photo and wanted to share this with somebody uh, quickly and easily, I tap on the share button and then you'll see the quick share option right here. You tap on it. And if there's anybody else that has a quick share option enabled on their phone, uh, their phone is gonna pop right here. You tap on it, boom, instant share. Okay, so that's the quick share option. And the other option we have is the music share option. So let me enable that. And basically with this one, what you can do is you can uh, let nearby friends play music on your Bluetooth speaker. So if their phone is also connected to music share and you are also connected to music share, your friend can stream their music through your phone on your Bluetooth speaker that you are connected. So that's another fantastic little feature. The next thing we have is update to the finder prediction. So if I go to my finder, okay, and let's say I'm searching for something right here, what's gonna happen is, let me just type in uh, studio, okay? So what's gonna happen is you are getting updated uh, predictions in this area right here, as you can see. It'll take you to the quick panel, to the settings, to the app, and also allows you to search for something. If I tap on this, it's gonna search for it in the gallery, in my files, uh, anywhere you can think of in your phone. It's gonna go to the Galaxy Store, the Play Store, and you can also search for using Google. So this Finder uh, predictions have also been uh, widely improved. And the final feature has to do with your Gallery app. So this is known as a Smart Crop feature. So when I launch the Gallery, okay, let's say I have a photo right here. Let's say I want a portion of this photo I wanna crop on. All you do is zoom in the photo, choose the area that you want as a separate photograph. On the top, you'll see a little icon known as the Smart Crop icon. You tap on this, and it's gonna take that photo completely separate and save it. Now that's a brand new photo, as you can see. So from this photo, I quickly was able to create this photo. Again, let me show it to you one more time. You zoom into the area that you want, okay? And then you'll see a button on the top. That's the Smart Crop button. You tap it, boom, it saves that photo. Now from this photo, I got that photo easily, okay? As you can see, there we go. From that photo, I was able to quickly crop this and this out, okay? So those are the brand new features to expect on your Galaxy A51 and the A71. Like I said, this update has been deployed and it's coming to people in installments. You'll get it sooner or later. I don't have an exact schedule, unfortunately. Samsung did not provide an exact schedule. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. For now, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.